Welcome everybody to part two of our soda machine. In this part we're going to deal with the change that is returned to the user after they've purchased a soda. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do, I made a typo there so I'm just going to undo. The first thing we need to do is create a change variable. So we'll indent this under our first condition here that we ch have chosen to buy a soda and then we'll type in change and set that variable equal to money deposited. Now if you remembered from our previous lesson that the money deposited was a whole number because we used an integer box for our program so we need to turn this into a float or a decimal so we'll type in FLOAT and notice it turned purple and the reason it turned purple was because that is a reserved word in Python and so now our money deposited is 18.0 or 8.0 or 10.0 however much money we deposited now we want to minus this by the actual purchase price that we calculated in the formula above and we can go ahead and print our change to our command window to see that we're getting the result that we want. So let's go ahead and run this. So click run and run module. Would you like to buy a soda today? Yes. I want to buy coke this time. I'm going to buy three cokes and there it printed out a three in my command window. And now I want to deposit at least a dollar seventy five for each soda so I'll put in let's say I have a ten dollar bill and my cost of my sodas was five twenty five and my change was four seventy five so now we just need to make a GUI box to handle those messages and please don't forget your comments so I'm gonna put a comment in here that says calculates the change given to the user and I notice a typo up here all right so now we need to create uh, a conditional for the amount of change we have so we say if change is greater than zero we're going to say do statements here that we'll add in a minute and if our change is not greater than zero which means we didn't enter enough money we need to write a message to them something like message is equal to you didn't deposit enough money please begin again and then we'll need a title that says soda machine and we'll pass these into our easy GUI box and we'll use a message box and we'll give the user an OK button to quit the program alright so now we need to handle the statements under this conditional So we'll say we need to check if our change is between a dollar and zero and in the, this case we need to tell them they got so many cents back and if it's greater than a dollar then they received a dollar or more in change. So we, the only thing that really differs is how we say the message to the user. 
So we'll say message, thank you for your purchase. Your change is, and we want to concatenate our change with a string, so we'll have to cast the, string, the change as a string. And then we need to say sense to end the sentence. And our title is still going to be Soda Machine. And our easy GUI will use a message box and pass in our message parameter, our title, and we'll give them an OK button to quit. So now we have to handle the other condition. And then this is, again, if the change is between zero and a dollar. And we'll just use the word here instead. And this one down, this condition down here is a message if the change is greater than a dollar. So we'll say else MSG is equal to thank you for your purchase. Your change is, and again we need to cast our change as a string, but this time we don't end with cents, we end with dollars and cents, so we'll just end a period here, and in this string we'll add a dollar sign before our change is printed. We need our title again. And our we'll pass this information into our easy GUI. And we'll use a message box. And then pass in our parameters message, title, and another OK button to quit. All right, so let's test. So we'll run the program. Would you like to buy a soda today? I'm going to say yes. I will buy mineral water. I'm on a health kick. I want to buy four of them. They're $1.75, so I will enter $10. And it says, thank you for your purchase. Your change is $3. And that's it for our easy GUI program. I encourage you to take time to test the rest of the conditions and also challenge you to create an exception here where you don't just say you deposited, you didn't deposit enough money, start over. You could actually tell them how much change, or how much more money they need to put in and then um, allow them to put in that money and pay for the sodas without having to start over. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.